Okay, so wait, bef before you bitch to me. No! No, hold on. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. So, during the first hour of the show, which is essentially the pre show, I was peeing, and they made the announcement that Tracy Williams was not going to be involved in this match. Because I think there was a car accident that he was involved in. I believe that's what they they you, only mentioned they only mentioned it once and I was halfway paying attention. You are responsible for this. I blame you, so I think that that should actually take off a prediction vote for you. But we both had the same person <laughs> to win. Yes. So um, Tracy will okay. Make a long story short. Tracy Williams was involved in a thing, and because of that, he was not medically and so, cleared. And so he was replaced by Jay Lethal. But after the match with Brody King, <laughs> Brody King. All right. Okay. Okay. Get your shit out now. He was replaced by Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan Gresham. Who had his at pure champion, um, not the last match, but the match before. So there was only one match break between the two. And that was a 20 minute match. In but let's pure talk again about then Homicide and Dickinson. They're part of violent by violent, by, violent by what? The violent by not design. Violence unlimited. You know what? It's <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. What was that, Brody King? Brody Lee. And <laughs> <laughs> I I like how I was trying to insult him, and I actually got it right. <laughs> violence unlimited. But you got violent by design, so shut up. How about that? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to slap you. How about you eat the fattest part of my dick? <laughs> I can't because there's nothing down there to eat. How about you swallow a bunch of horse cum there, peanut gallery? <laughs> wow. <laughs> there's no, there's no clap. <laughs> Anyways. How about you suck the horse cock until it fills your belly, you piece of shit? <laughs> Full of nummies deliciousness? <laughs> All right, so confirmed. Peanut Gallery drinks the horse cum. So this was a um, this was a honor. This was a non honorable match. So essentially, a glorified hardcore match. Yeah. With Homicide, who has been with this company well on and off since two thousand and two, because he was one of the original Ring of Honor World Champions. I think he was the original Ring of Honor World Champion. Anyways, they're part of Violence Unlimited. <laughs> and um, so, actually, they came out right after the previous match was the television championship match. Right, because that was with a um, that was with Tony Deppin, who was right. part of the same faction. And, and, and so, then, and then and um, so La, Faction, La Faction Ingo Benable was out there right. about to attack, but then um, Homicide and Dickinson came out to even the odds. But then you had... Um, the foundation come out, start that match. So literally no entrance. There, there was no entrance. Like there was like a thirty second interval between the previous right. match and then the next match. So I want to put that out there, which is really interesting because they're going to really set up some good stuff in the future. I right. Say. And I was I was cleaning as Peanut Gallery made dinner, um, but. You know, I was not really paying attention much to this match, but I was fine with it because I'm not really the biggest of fans of this kind of match. Um, but I do know that Dickinson was pushed very much over in yeah. this match, and I really liked that. I was very happy about that, too, because, you know, he's a lot younger of the guy. Homicide does not need any more um, right. verification. And the same thing with Red Tide. Red Titus, established guy, no problem. And then with the circumstances around with Tracy Williams, Jay Lethal, and Jonathan Gresham, obviously there was a lot going right. on there. Um, the problem was, I, the, here's the thing. I think Jay Lethal was fine. I just don't think they wanted Jay Lethal to lose twice. Right. So um, it was a gringo killer, which we haven't seen, or a vertebraker right. from Homicide on, I think that was on Gresham. I think Gresham ate the pin. Yeah, he ate the pin okay. for them for them to win the tag team champion. Well, then there we have it. Um, you know, it was fine. It was whatever. I really couldn't give enough of a shit about this match. Anyway. All right. So, how are we going to make Ring of Honor Majestic again? Let us start with this match. So, number one, 
the orient uh, I like the match itself, but the orientation right. of the match was a very poor decision. This should not have been the opening match for the show. I Period. Agree. Period, end of story. Like, it should not have been. This should have been either the fourth match in or the ninth match in right. as a toilet break match. I'm sorry. There was not really a big rivalry going right. into this match. I couldn't care less about this match. It just was there. Right. I just think they want to do a Briscoes match. And right. it's like, honestly, the Briscoes at that point are a little overrated. Might as well have Jay Lethal and uh, Brody King. 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 Brody King. King Lee King. Anyway, let's talk about the next one. Um, I'm not going to really give too much fault in this because, number one, I thought the match itself was fine. Um, the rivalry well, well, again, here's the thing about this tag team. Here's the thing about this. It was not about these two teams in general. It was about the factions that they were involved with. Right. Violence Unlimited, obviously the name speaks for itself. Right. And Los Imanamables. No. no. Uh, the Foundation. The Foundation. But Los Imanamables is part of that same team. La, no. Los Igobernables. Los Imanamables. It's La Faccion. Ingobernable in this company. It's La Faction Ingobernable. Just say La Faction instead of looking like an idiot. Anyway. LF. LFI. LFI. Yeah! Just say LFI. Anyway, um, I thought the match was fine. Um, so, with given the circumstances of like the car wreck or whatever the hell happened with Tony Depp, or not Tony Depp, and with uh, Tracy Williams. And them changing it like twice, it was kind of weird. Right, it was kind of weird. But they they did end up pulling off a decent little match. I'm not mad about it. Um, but, I can again, but again, the problem is, is that it was not about the tag teams themselves. It was about the overall faction. Right. It was fine. So let's talk. Of, okay. I really can't say anything about this. You can't make this any more majestic than it was. It was a majestic match. It was a great match. It was a great match. Great rivalry going into it. I love how. They're and, really, they're uh, really promoting Dalton Castle saying, I have things to do. I have this and that. So, it was fun. So Draper, Castle, and Esam, are, they're, not, they're not a part of a faction, though, are they? Mm -mm. Whereas the other three, they are. Shane Taylor Promotions. Right. They're part of Shane Taylor Promotions. So you're giving the three. I mean, I love it because there's a depth to that tag team division. Right. I mean, it's not even a tag team division. It's a factional division. Right. So I think that uh, what I like about ROH is that there's that depth. But let's talk about the depth. Let's talk about the women's tournament that's happening this month. Who made their debut was Chelsea Green. So Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green made her first appearance, and she unraveled WWE in a sentence. Um, and then she's like, uh, so I guess her arm is still hurt. I don't know how. I feel like they botched a surgery or something. But she still has a cast on her arm, so she's her match is the very last one. Um, here's the thing. So people are like, oh, why didn't they do a close-up of the Ring of Honor World Champion? Or the Ring of Honor Women's Champion? They're not done with it. Yeah, that, that was, was a mock-up. No, it was, a rep, it was one of those toy replicas oh. of the Ring of Honor World Champion. That's why I said that looks like a smaller version of the Ring of Honor World Champion. Anyways, because it uh, was. Anyway, <laughs> Chelsea Green took a couple jabs at WWE, which we kind of expect at this point. Cause... Whatever, because I guess she doesn't have any talent. Anyway, um, let's talk about Jonathan Gresham and Mike Bennett. Here's the thing. Mike Bennett should have won. He should have won. I mean, even though I chose Jonathan Gresham, I knew he was going to win, and that was based out of necessity of I mean, keeping look, the belt. Jonathan Gresham is a great representative of the pure division. But Mike Bennett has, he had the story to go into this, and I think it would have been a great feel good moment for not only him, Bennett but for the fans. Heel. Even though Mike Bennett's a heel ish. Right. Isn't Mike Bennett kind of a heel ish. He's kind of a heel. And Jonathan Gresham. I don't know. With, our, with ROH, it's, it's. They just they just don't want Jonathan Gresham to lose, but it's like Mike Bennett would have been the right person to do. Number one, he has a backstory. Number two, he has a talent. There's a, there going to be a rematch. And he was, he was really popular. There's a rematch. This would have been it. It's best in the world. This is their biggest event other than their anniversary show. They're going to have a rematch. Stupid. So stupid. Stupid. It was. 
Ooh, let's talk about this one. All right. So oh, speaking of stupid, why do they not give Bandito the moment with the championship? He beat Roosh. Roosh by roll up. I don't care if it was by roll up. He beat him. Roosh is still a credible number one contender, but why didn't they give him that? I get it. Left faction in Gubernable should have attacked him. That's fine. I don't care. But why not have him have the belt? We did not see a single moment of the new Ring of Honor world champion with the belt. None. Zero. Besides him laying on the ground and... Looking like an idiot. Yeah. He looked like an idiot. That is your main representative. Why do you look like a jackass? Because reasons. It's stupid. It was really stupid. This was the perfect opportunity to bring in somebody new. What about Kalisto? Brian Danielson. Right. You had options. And the thing was, and you so, made the so, right you made the wrong option. And, and so and so you have all these people who are ready to go, who have been released by the E, and you have like fucking Brian Danielson. Ray Horace, you could have had Ray Horace come in there and even the odds and run people off. Right. Bandito should have had his moment, and yet you didn't. Right. Yeah. That was a crime. And I don't think Pina Gallery is any contention. Number one, Bandito should have won in front of fans, but he should have had that moment with. He should have the, won with dignity. He should have won with the belt. Won with dignity. Other. Otherwise, who cares? Bandito is not a world champion in my book. He's he's. A I'm very holder. I'm he's very placeholder for Rush's third reign. I'm very frustrated. That's what that's what it is. And it sucks because Bandito is very good. Yeah. No, Bandito is a placeholder. Anyway, let's talk about the next one. So number one, why did Rush lose it? But then Dragon Lee win the Ring of Honor World TV Champion. Well, so number one, Tony Deppin was a replacement. That's literally what he was. As soon as Dragon Lee was healthy enough. He was ready. Yeah. So maybe Roosh is hurt somewhere? I don't know. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe well, he's that is the only reason that he could have won that champion. Uh, that that uh, Bandito would have won that champion by roll-up. It was right. because Roosh was hurt. That's it. That or maybe he has a visa issue because I mean, he still lives in Mexico. Right, but no, you know, it's like, come on. Nobody cares. Well, they fucking do. It's Ring right. of Honor. But anyway, so yes, Dragon Lee won the belt. Um, here's my thing. I really wish Tony Deppin won this because now Tony Deppin looks like a paper placeholder champion. And he's and good enough. he's going to be. Right. It's like, I mean, unless he does something great and wins it back, there's no way. All right. I just can't take that seriously. They just made a really wrong call with this. Wait until later for Dragon Lee to win this title back or have Tony Deppin win it. Uh, win the match again and have him defend against Dragon Lee again and then lose it then. Right. But I feel like with this, like, quick change around, that was kind of what happened. Right. All right. Once again, here's where I might have a problem. Let's talk about this one. Number one, I liked the rival going into it, and the match was fine, and I was not offended by it. EC3 looked great. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, and so the people were so behind Flip Gordon. And he slapped EC3 a couple of times and continued. Talked to Lugi. It was right there on EC3's cheek. I'm like, wipe it away. Um, but anyway, why? Flip Gordon is going for the Ring of Honor World Champion at Glory by Honor. Right, so why did he lose? In a month. Why did he lose? EC3 could have faced anybody else. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that EC3 and Flip Gordon, they both should have won. But they should have won different matches. Right. Not you shouldn't have to have make this you shouldn't have to make this decision. They've put themselves into this corner because they already announced that Flip Gordon was going to face either Rouge or Bandito for the Ring of Honor World Champion at Glory by Honor on Saturday. Why did they do that? This made no sense. They booked themselves into a corner. This is WWE level mistake. Right. This is W. Here's my thing. If they really want to do something like this, if you want to make this shit majestic again, make it a number one contender match. Right. Then whoever won it, even if it was EC3, he would have 
earned his opportunity. Exactly. And then you had either Roosh versus you had, EC3 you had, you had, or Bandito uh, versus EC3. I would have been you, cool you had, with either you one. Had the comeback, you had the comeback kid versus Flip Gordon, and you already announced him as number one contender. It you was, already announced Flip Gordon. I thought he was going to win. I mean, why? What? What was the point of this? This was best in the world. Like, glory by honor, you would have done this stupid shit if you want to do stupid shit. This was such a bad choice. Right. It was. It was a bad choice, not for the match itself, but for putting these two together where they both had something to prove. Right. Let's talk about this one. It was that no one cared. So, what about this? Why not switch some of the contenders for these matches? Let's do, let's do Josh, let's do Josh Woods and EC3 and then Flip Gordon and Silas Young and exactly. do that. Exactly, and then Josh Woods and Silas Young are the losers for both of those matches. Right, or vice versa or whatever they're going to do, right. But the point is, is that EC3 and Flip Gordon both get the chance to fucking win. Right, why? Why did they do that? And then, all, obviously, it was Josh Wood and Silas Young. They had a rivalry. Right. They had a rivalry they going did. into it. Um, the match itself was very, like, lackluster. It was a wet fart in church. It, was, it wasn't very good. It was, it was a fart that you're not trusting. It was a fart. Right. So, it was what it was. I just, I don't know what to do to do this. I would have done maybe something a little more personal, a little more intense. Mm. Um, maybe book the match a little bit differently, but that's a producer problem, not a booking problem. So I loved how they booked this. I loved it. Did we talk about this already, Jay Lethal? No. Oh. No, no, we, we talked about the result of it later because we skipped over it. Right. So anyways, Jay Lethal and... This was the right call. Yes. By 100%. Right. You know, you chose Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal was already an established... Main eventer, he can lose a ten thousand matches. He is the Hiroshi Tanahashi of this promotion. That's true. He can go for any belt, no problem. He is the good. He is a good person to go for the he was, world title. He, he was he was there to put somebody else over, and that's what they needed to do with Brody Lee. If Brody Lee lost this, they killed Brody Lee. Brody but King they, or Brody King. I swear to God, I did that again. <laughs> They did this so great with Brody King. Do I have to, like, replace you? No. No. Because you already have your own mic. I would have done the same thing on that one. It, it wouldn't have made a difference. But they needed to do something with Brody King to make him an established competitor. If you, I'm going to hit you. So <laughs> I'm to push him out of the way. <laughs> the, right? So the problem was is that Brody King needed this win. <laughs> Jay Lethal did not. And he, they made him look so strong as well. They did this right. And I'm so happy about this. I wouldn't have changed a damn thing. Right. And I think that covers all of our main show matches. Except for oh. um demonic So okay, let's let's do um let's do the um let's do the hour one matches. Oh. I like so I here's the one thing. I like this match. They did a great job. My problem was why did they do it here? They should have built a budding rivalry between these two specifically. I was I was okay with it. They should have built a different rivalry specifically between these two and had this at Glory by Honor. Yeah, I was perfectly fine with it though. Nah. Yeah. Now, this match should have been on our one. Uh, Don Howes and PCO are the next number of contenders for the tag team championships. Obviously. If they don't do this by glory, by honor, a lot of people are going to be pissed. I'll be pissed. Up oh, there goes some more trash cans rolling around here in the wind. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. very windy outside right now. Yep, we're not putting our trash cans out until later. I don't care. I'm actually kind of curious. I might go out there and look at it later. But anyway, um, other than that, do you have anything else to say about any other match that we have covered when we make Pro Wrestling Majestic again? Not really. I think you did a pretty, a pretty physician job of making pro wrestling majestic again. But I want to hear from you guys. Did you watch the show? Let me know what you think about it. What would you have done differently for each match? Comment down below. And I'm wrestled out for the week. Yep. Um, so, next, next week. Next week. So, we're going to do Slammiversary and Money in the Bank. Luckily, they're on two different nights, so we're not going to have an issue about streaming both of them. Easy we to are do. still doing our. We're going to resume wrestling, and we are going to reduce. We're going to resume heckling. Yep. 
And um, we're going to go with that. We have a very exciting topic for our uh, – later in July, there's a weekend where we don't have any pay-per-views. So we're yep. really excited about that. Absolutely. And thank you guys so much for listening. Follow us on social media. All the links are below this video. And as always, a boy. Majestic.